A. Um, I hate to say it, this is going to be kind of uh, a melancholy type of video, or kind of uh, a little bit of a de depressing type video, which is kind of out of my hands. Um, Well, you know how I had lost my grandmother, my dad's mother. She was 95. I lost her last September. Well, my mom's mother, uh, my maternal grandmother, I'm not sure how old she is. I think she was born in 34. Um... Anyway, uh, she's in the hospital. Um, she has di diabetes, and she's been on, and she's done kidney. I think it's a kidney. She's done dialysis. Um, and. Uh, She's taken Lipitor, which I think is a cholesterol medicine, for years. Um, but, you know, she's been in and out of the hospital for a couple of years now. Um, a lot of UTIs and stuff like that. Uh... And, you know, I haven't seen her in over a year. Uh, my uncle, he's kind of the one that gives me rides and helps me as far as that goes. You know, he takes me to, takes me like grocery shopping and stuff like that. But usually, you, you know, I walk or... You know, I might take a bus or a cab, which is so expensive. Here, cabs are expensive. Just to get in, it's three ninety five, and then I don't know if it's fifty cents or something every quarter mile after that. But it's purely expensive in the area I live. But no, uh. And, you know, like I said, I haven't seen my grandmother um, in over a year, probably longer. Um, you know, she was in the hospital in the town where I live in, Portsmouth. Now, for you local, she's in Exeter Hospital. But she was in a nursing home uh, in a town called Hampton, and I never even knew the name of it and everything. Um, but they've taken her off of dialysis and hospice, which I know darn well is kind of a to end of life organization and they've taken over um, I, I guess she can hear but she can't talk uh, and obviously I love her and I and I hear about her a lot so my prayers are with my grandmother and with my mom. My mom's having a really hard time. And, you know, I hope everything, as far as that arena goes, good. Um, Who knows, you know, she might have a 
miraculous healing. Stuff like that happens, it, you know, happened to my father. They had given him a few years to live, and he was on hospice, but he wound up living eight years after their prediction. So, uh, those on Facebook, uh, if you look at my profile, uh, you can see my mom's profile, Beverly Gron. So, if you want to say hi to her, say hi, you know. And also, um, this week I found out that I now have sugar diabetes. And I have to see the endocrinologist. I hope I said that right. On the 28th of this month, uh, 4 o'clock, so that's a Tuesday. But I do have some medicine called Metroformin. And you take a tablet. Um, daily, just uh with dinner you know you take it with your evening meal uh the brand name is glucophage it's 500 milligrams got 30 of them with five refills so that's six months worth Um, my blood sugar, uh, was 174, and that's fasting, and I think it's supposed to be under 100, and, uh, my triglycerides were way up there. I'm not sure what the triglycerides are. Um, I don't know if that's the, could you have good cholesterol, bad, bad cholesterol, I don't know. But it should not be over 150 at the most. It's 150 or below is normal, and mine was way up in the 400 region. My bad, my good cholesterol like I said you have the bad cholesterol and you have good cholesterol my good cholesterol was kind of on the low side um, uh, my vitamin D vitamin D it should be like at a 30 or higher mine was all the way at a for and vitamin D of course you get from food from sunlight etc um, so I have to take uh, VITD2 1.25 milligrams 50,000 unit but anyway you take one once a week, that's it. One once a week. And then she wants me to take vitamin D 1000 IU. Uh, you take one uh, daily. Uh, I doubt you guys even hear about that, that stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm just going to be working on just kind of getting myself, myself healthier. Um, you know, um, I'd also like to try out and be a lifeguard. I think I'd be a good one. And I think they do that this month in May because our town pool, it opens up June 23rd, I think. But anyway, uh, 
keep my grandmother and just my family as a whole in your prayers or in your good thoughts if, if prayers are not your thing and uh, I'm sorry this video is kind of a downer video I really am uh, you deserve more than that and trust me um, a good positive video is coming up it's uh, it's gonna be for drug use um, all right uh, I thank you all I love you God bless peace